What's going on guys, this is Dean List, and in this video, I just wanted to provide a quick overview of Zurt for newer players to Destiny. Zurt, or the Agent of the Nine, is an NPC character that spawns on Fridays and lasts until Sunday. It's a vendor that sells exotic weapons and armor. In the first Destiny, Zurt spawned at random spots in the tower and in the House of Wolves expansion area, and you had to find him yourself. But now Destiny actually includes a unique marker for Zurt that you can find on the map. This week, Zurt can be found on Nessos. He's literally in a tree on Nessos. Like, I, I can't make this up. Anyways, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed with the items that Zur has in stock this week. He's only carrying four items. One exotic weapon and three pieces of gear, one for each class. Now, Merciless is a very good weapon. I think it's one of the best weapons in the game right now, and it's very cheap too. It only costs 29 legendary shards, so it's definitely a must buy. The only thing is, I already had Merciless. I got it as a random drop in an exotic Ingram, and I had that on my Hunter, but since it was so cheap, I actually decided to buy a second copy of the weapon. Uh, for my warlock the gun says that it's 270 power but if you actually look closer it's 265 power because there's a five point weapon mod on it so definitely keep that in mind when you're infusing it into other weapons or if you're infusing legendaries into it to increase its power the other three exotics that Zer has currently are raiden flux doomfang pauldron and wings of sacred dawn each of these pieces costs 23 legendary shards. As I said before, because these weapons and armor are so cheap, it doesn't hurt to purchase these, especially since the legendary shards are very easy to obtain. But like I said before, I'm very disappointed in the items that Zer has this week, and just the fact that he's carrying four items. Like in the last game, Zer carried exotic Ingrams as well, which gave you an opportunity to RNG armor and weapons that he wasn't necessarily carrying at the moment. I definitely think that moving forward, Bungie should include this in subsequent weeks. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. If you aren't subscribed, hit that button, that bell, so you can stay up to date whenever I post new content. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.